Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and you may be wondering why we are starting off in the Trophy Lodge looking at the multi-mounts, and that is because today we are finally doing the video that ended up winning the first giveaway here for the 95,000 subscriber giveaway. Where essentially I picked the best comment of a video idea and I said I would do the video idea as well as give that person three uh, DLCs for the PC version of the Hunter Call of the Wild. So we ended up picking It's Garrett as the winner. I love the idea of building a multi-mount from scratch and only having one hour to do so and not being able to switch maps. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we do that, I did want to let you guys know that we're about to hit 97,000 as of the time of recording this and that means it's time for the second giveaway what we're gonna be doing for this giveaway is a $50 PlayStation Store gift card so the same drill as that as last time be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what video idea you have that is unique and different than stuff that you've seen done before the more interesting and unique the video idea the more chances that i will pick it as the winner and as always be wary of scammers there's a lot of people that will pose as a fake scarecrow and try to get you to send them information do not ever respond to these messages if they tell you to like text them in the number that's in the name don't fall for it those are always a scam i would never ask for information like that what we do to pick the winner is once I've discovered which one I want to have as the winning comment, then I will reply to that comment and tell you to send me a message on Discord through my Discord, which can be found in the description of this video, and then send me a screenshot of my reply to your message highlighted. That way I can confirm that it's you, and that's kind of how we go about things to make sure that the right person gets their reward as well as you guys avoiding scammers. And don't worry because if you are not on PC for the last giveaway or you're not on PlayStation for this giveaway, there will be an Xbox giveaway once we hit 99k. So don't worry, I'm not leaving Xbox out of this. You guys will get a giveaway eventually as well. But anyway, let's get into this. So I've decided on doing the Bison multi-mount, which means we're going to be going to Yukon in today's video. We're going to try and get a male and female Grey Wolf as well as a Plains Bison. And what we've got to do is try to build the best mount possible within one hour of gameplay. So what we're going to do now is jump into Yukon multiplayer and see if we can find ourselves some cool trophies for a multi-mount within one hour. And then, uh, as always, in the comments, let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know how I did, if you guys think I built a good mount. And uh, yeah, we'll get into it now. So there is only two servers up. That's a bit of a problem, but I think we can make it work. So let's go in here and start the timer at the same time. Starting at one and going all the way up to 60 minutes. Well, unfortunately, this server has a cheater in it. So that's already one of the two servers checked off of the list. We may have to do this challenge in single player. Which is unfortunate, I like doing it in multiplayer, so there's uh, more chances of just random stuff that I don't expect popping up. Because whenever it's in single player, there's always going to be people that'll say like, Oh, you probably had that on your map anyway before starting this and knew about it, so I figure we always do it in multiplayer. But unfortunately, sometimes we can't always find multiplayer servers that work. Alright, so this server is already looking a lot more promising and so we've got about 58 minutes left to get a female and male gray wolf as well as a plains bison. Uh, what I'm going to be doing also, just so I don't tax something that isn't necessarily going to be our best for the mount, that way I just don't waste uh, time taxing stuff and wasting money taxing stuff that we're not actually going to use, I'm going to be saving the harvests of the ones that I think might end up making it into the mount and uh, then taxing them at the very end. Well, we've got ourselves a few wolves out there. Uh, honestly, that's a decent one to start out with. That is a beautiful looking mythical. And then let's just get any female down. We're already off to a decent start. We got a couple things down. Unfortunately, wolves are still pretty bugged in multiplayer, so... Yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. They've been like this for so long. I honestly don't know why they haven't fixed them. It's like if they're unspooked, they walk around like normal. But the second that they start to flee, they just freeze in place. So I'm really hoping that EW will eventually fix that. 
let's go ahead and save that harvest right here and then save this one as well. We're going to do our best not to spook any of the wolves because I don't want to have to have them bug out every single time as it is kind of annoying and immersion breaking. Hey, we've got some bison. Let's hope there's a good bison in this group. All we need is one decent male and we'll at least have a placeholder until we can get something else. It looks like something is spooking them. We should probably take one down. I think that's got to be wolves that are spooking them. Because there's nothing near those bison at all. Alright, let's go for this shot if we can. And just like that, we got a hard shot. So we at least have a placeholder bison. Now hopefully if everything goes right for us, we will be able to also get something a little bit better than just these. Because right now we don't even have an all gold mount. We've got a gold wolf and then uh, a silver bison as well as... Uh, obviously not a gold female because I don't believe the female wolves can even make gold so that one's not gonna have any chance at making it but it'd be nice if we could try to find at least one rare or possibly a diamond of any of the species well there we go that is a much better bison right there though still nothing too insane that is at least going to be a gold bison there it is, we got ourselves a level 4 bison, 188.23, definitely the best thing of the day. We're going to go ahead and save harvest on this guy right here. This is a uh, very good contender for our multi-mount. Well, we've got a couple of mythical wolves out here. I decided to jump to a different server and this is the first thing that I am greeted with. Which honestly is uh, not too bad. Let's hope that was a good shot though, I don't think it was. There was one more level 8, and yeah, it's going to miss. Let's 0 to 300. Yeah, it's a much better hit. I'm sure people get tired of me saying this, but I can't help but mention it every time I see it happen. When are they ever going to fix the wolves doing this in multiplayer? It, it's every single server, every pack of wolves you find. If you spook them, they completely freeze. I'm sure some people are happy about it because they get free money, but... It's, uh, it's very immersion breaking. It throws me off every time it happens, and I just can't move past it. But that actually will be an upgrade, so let's go ahead and save that harvest. That is better than the mythical wolf that we already uh, attacked, or uh, saved as a harvest. That is actually better than the one that we had already saved, so that is the first uh, upgrade that we've had today. Really hoping to get an upgrade for the bison in the form of a diamond one. That would be really nice. Or possibly even just a big rare would be cool as well. But with incredibly little time remaining, only 18 minutes, I don't think that's going to happen. Though we could get lucky on this little stretch of water. Well, one last attempt at trying to get another trophy for this multi-mount. We've got about seven minutes left to try and get either a trophy bison or wolf. So we're going to join this server that's at bison time and see if we can find something good. And yeah, that's, that's, that's not good at all. So that means we're going to have to join one of the servers that is not at bison time, which is going to make this... A whole lot more difficult. I mean, this one is kind of, it's towards the end of it, but we might be able to catch a few of them before they're gone. Well, at this point, I would say it's safe to say we're not going to find anything else to replace the uh, ones that we've already got saved for the mount. But uh, we do have a couple lakes that we can probably get to before we run out of uh, time. So we will try to get over there and see what's going on. And with 10 seconds available, yeah, it's looking like that is going to be the end of this challenge but to be honest we didn't do half bad for only having an hour to assemble a multi-mount I think we did decent so let's jump into the lodge and put it together and there it is the bison multi-mount looking beautiful as always a 188 scoring gold plains bison a 32.9 scoring gray female and a 38.1 scoring gray male for the wolves not bad. I mean, for only having an hour to assemble it, I'd say we did decent. We at least got a mythical wolf and a really nice level 4 bison uh, to go in this mount, mount along with the female. And now, what I want to do is leave it up to you guys in the comments as to whether or not this becomes an actual series we do here on the channel. It won't be exactly like this, but I've got an idea for a series that I think could be really cool, so... Let me know if you want to see a series based off of building multi-mounts and 
And building every multi-mount in the game to be specific, going from the first one, a clear down to the last one, in just a, a, a big series. I don't know if we'll ever finish that type of a series, as it would be a very long one, but it could be a cool thing to attempt, or at least do a few of the mounts from, so let me know what you guys think about that. And uh, once again, if you guys haven't already, be sure to leave your comment down below about your uh, video idea to try and win the PlayStation gift cards. So, again, just whatever type of unique and interesting ideas you have for a video, let me know and you'll have a chance to win this uh, PlayStation gift card. And always as well, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as this is for my subscribers. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.